Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I have a yard sale haul to share with you guys. I apologize for not having a video on Wednesday. As you can tell, I got sick again. And as of yesterday, I had zero voice, like nothing. I would go to talk and only air would come out. So today, when I woke up, I had my voice back. So I've got water with me so I can keep my voice and I'm going to share with you what I got yard selling. So Molly and I went out together. Um, everyone else was too sick to come with us and I felt it coming on and Molly was getting over it. So we only went out for about an hour, but we did so good. So I can't wait to show you what I got. All right, at the first yard sale, my daughter found this really beautiful purse. And this was hand embroidered by the wife of one of my high school teachers, which I think is just kind of precious. But it's embroidered on both sides and it has this sort of long string. And we thought this was perfect for Molly because you know it has that very romantic style that she's very into so we could display it in her bedroom when she's not using it but it's perfect for going to yard sales because you can put your little coins in there and your little bills and be able to walk around and navigate the yard sales so we thought this was a perfect find very neat that I know the woman who embroidered this and a total treasure so this was five dollars one of the things I put on my list for things I was looking for at yard sales was cloth napkins and I found some at the first yard sale that I went to last week but I found even more this week and these ones are kind of fancy and I like that and it was only three dollars for this entire box and it says linen department number 2007 approximate size 22 uh, quantity one dozen made in Ireland so they're hemmed by hand and the whole box is here and there's 12 of them but because it's only three dollars I can have my family use these I don't have to save them for a special occasion it will just make our dinner times feel more special and these are so beautiful so I paid three dollars for this dozen of hand hemmed uh, linens from Ireland I think I was in like this very excited state of mind because I purchased something then that I probably shouldn't have got and I have buyer's remorse over. I think the, the beautiful napkins kind of, um, I don't know, maybe it's like changed my judgment or something and maybe some of you thrifters and yard sale friends can understand what I'm talking about. But I saw this gorgeous tablecloth it's 84 inches, which is how big my table is. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's in such beautiful condition. It's so pretty. It has like this champagne scallop on the edge, gorgeous embroidery. So the middle has this cutout style lace. And there are some stains on it, but nothing, nothing massive. And I just thought, oh, we could just, you know, use this and... I brought it home and I put it on her table and I looked at Molly and I was like, we will never use this, will we? And she's like, no, mom, that's really not us. It's pretty, but it's not really us. So buyer's remorse. It was $3 as well. I probably shouldn't have bought it. I was just excited because it was so beautiful. And so I'm going to be selling this possibly on Instagram. It's so beautiful. If you love vintage linens, um, pop over to Instagram. I'll try to have it up there at the same time that I post this video. So sometimes when you're out yard selling, you'll see something and it sparks a memory like, oh my gosh, I actually need one of those. Do you ever have those moments when you're out thrifting or yard selling? Well, I definitely had one of those when I saw these. They are battery powered candles. They all still have candle or batteries in them and they all still work. They were 25 cents a piece. And I remembered that I wanted some of these for my Christmas centerpiece. I have that long wooden box and I like to tuck evergreens into the box with pine cones. And I didn't want to put real candles in there, but I'm too cheap to buy. <laughs> I'm too cheap to buy fake ones. So anyway, I got these for 25 cents each and now I have these for Christmas time. This was also something on my list and I, this was actually on my list. <laughs> Um, these are snow boots for Molly. They're actually two sizes too big, but that's what I like to do with snow boots. I'll go two sizes up. That way I can get two to three even winters out of a pair of boots. 
So these were only $3. They're waterproof, awesome quality. They're the Columbia brand, which is my favorite for outdoor gear for kids. Probably everything I bought is still cheaper than buying these new. So yay for that. We went to this huge like parking lot sale that one of the high school groups was putting on as a fundraiser and I always like those can either be like total gems or total flops and this one was kind of a flop. It was just a lot of junk. We found a couple books there and they charged me just a dollar for all the books. We got a Lois Lowry, um, The Gathering Blue. I've never read this one by Lois Lowry but I love The Giver. And I love Number of the Stars. It's supposed to kind of go along with The Giver. So let me know if you've read this before, um, if it's a good one or not. But we do love her other books. And then there were a couple origami sets. And we've tried and tried to make some of these. And they're so hard. Molly and I both were getting pretty frustrated trying to follow the instructions in here. So we might just keep the paper and donate this. Um, and the other set was with um, like fake money and it was how to fold money into origami and we got that one for Liam but he wasn't interested in it so I put that in my um, consignment sale bin and I'll get my money back on it. Okay so now we're getting to the super fun stuff for me at least. We went to a yard sale that was like an estate sale. Um, these daughters were clearing out their dad's house. I don't know if he had passed or not but he was a woodworker and they had a bunch of his things that he had made and they were all kind of out of my budget but they had a lot of these little deer that he had made and they're so cute I bought one they were a dollar a piece I bought one and then they just gave three more to Molly because they were like oh she's so cute let her pick out three she can have them um, so she picked out three more so we have four now of these deer that were handmade by a woodworker in our area so we went to an estate sale the final one and I was really excited because there was so much vintage everywhere. It was like almost overstimulating how much good vintage stuff there was there. But I'm really trying to be selective. So um, I found a few things. One thing for Molly's room. I know I keep saying it, but we're doing the Jane Austen kind of inspired look in her bedroom. And so we found this beautiful crocheted piece. The woman who lived there was really into crochet. She had tons of doilies, but we only picked one. So we thought this one would fit nicely on top of her dresser. So this was a dollar. And I thought for a hand crocheted beautiful cream colored doily, that is a good deal. There were so many vintage craft supplies that I was like, okay, hold back Rachel, really think about what you're gonna use. Cause I went through and got rid of a bunch of my vintage craft supplies that I just wasn't using. So I'm trying to be more selective. One of the things I use a lot are vintage sewing notions as gift wrap and like bows and stuff on my packages. So um, I picked up a bunch of these, like I have this whole little pile of these different sewing notions and she charged me just a dollar for all of this. And these are so cute on top of gifts. If Rick Rack is so cute if you use like a brown, um, you know, craft paper wrap. It's just so cute. And this sort of like crocheted lace this is so pretty again this will look really pretty um on one of our christmas ornaments that we make or um on a gift so i'm also trying to rein it in on how much vintage christmas stuff that i buy you guys know it's one of my weaknesses but i did dig through all the christmas stuff and i left a bunch of stuff behind but the things that i just had to have were these little tiny Christmas balls. They're so tiny and little, and I just thought these would look so cute in some of my milk glass and sprinkled with some of my shiny brights or on a mini Christmas tree, or I can use them in my crafting or gift toppers. Like there's all kinds of applications I can use them for. And then I also got this set of three bells. And they are signed Pat Betts 79. But this one with the house was my favorite. Um, I just think that is such a darling little scene. And it has like the holly on the back. I just thought those are so cute. And those will look so good with what I already have. Um, this one here has a mouse. And a tree like he's sleeping not a creature was stirring not even a mouse I love that and then this one has a dove and it says joy love and peace love joy and peace with some more holly so I just thought those were darling and she charged me 50 cents for all three of those 
and then 50 cents for these. Uh, the last things that I got were some canisters for my husband's flour. I've shared with you guys that he's really into baking bread. He needed some more canisters for his bread flour. So I found these two containers and they were 50 cents a piece. I love the more detailed one. I wish there were two of those, but um, they have like a nice lid that seals and that's working really nicely. Okay, that is my yard sale haul for this weekend and... Lord willing, I will be well enough <laughs> to go out this weekend. The weather's supposed to be amazing, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I love yard sales so much, and I love that you guys love them too. Let me know in the comments down below what you are finding out there at yard sales or what you liked best from what I found. I'd love to hear that as well. So subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you here at this sweet and simple home. I love going to yard sales and sharing my hauls. So if that's something you love too, I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button and come back for more. You guys take care and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.